Yo, Vesanti here, and I recently beat Baffle Myth on Rebirth 3, and I got to floor 5, 9, 6. And I want to share you guys with the build, and hopefully it works for you guys. And if that doesn't work, my guildmate shared with one of his cheesy builds. <laughs> Maybe that will work for you. So at some point during my battle, my pet was a bit under gear. It was using like 160 or 180. So if your pet does not live through the second round of skills, then that's what you need to work on. Get that defense, HP, maybe some invasions. I also recently got strength and protection cure. So that actually helped me tank to last at least to the second round. And Osiris is my CC of the group. All right, so let's dive right in. So my skills, I have is Berserk for obviously crit. And second is Speed Burst 2. You want two because of the cast time. You want to increase your cast so you can do your charge attack number four faster. And I have Dramatic Blow, which go in sync with Berserk because crits will increase the damage. And of course, Berserk gives you crit. All right, and then that will speed all the way up until charge attack. And that Speed Burst will still affect the charge attack. And this is where you want your AoE. For the fifth skill, you can mix and match. I use the Frost Blade because it hits all the the monsters and it like stuns them. So that's what I like to use. So let's go through my skill runes here. I don't know how to say any of these, so I'm just gonna read out the description. So the first one, of course, the buff gives increased damage. My berserk is my berserk is a buff. And for the second one, normal attack do bonus true damage because of the speed burst, right? Most of, most of my runes here are just maximizing damage. Dramatic blow, attack will decrease their defense, so I do more damage, right? So everything preparing for this charge attack AoE. I have it at rune 3. You need that to be rune 3 so I can hit all, all of them. And then the last one is just more extra damage. So that's my current build. And... I might actually lose, but let's just challenge one of the bosses and you can see how that goes. I don't have enough attack power for this floor, so... Anyways, let's go on and talk about my guildmate's cheesy builds. Alright, so my guildmate Swanster, hope I'm not saying your name wrong, sent me the video of his cheesy way of doing things and he got to what map 830 so let's see so he did the target change right and that he took the hit and then his pets are doing the quick spell to, to get through everything faster group strengthen and then he'll heal him back and he's fine and then here comes the charge aoe bam so that's how you've been cheesing his way through these maps. And well, you sent me a screenshot. This is his skill runes that he used. So the first two ones are the most important ones. So let's see, he used it with target change for the first one. So after, so he's pretty much tanking the damage. And then after this, the killing bow, he doesn't actually die. So he actually heals back. It's like a mistress kind of thing. And then the second ruin, for, it limits it to one because then when when you have when you're on reaper three or two right all the monsters are way buffer and they hit you pretty hard so tanking you need to pet to tank but with this you can tank and then it'll do more damage and hp loss so damage will be one for a while and let's see he has berserk more enemies will decrease the damage taken and more allies will increase the damage dealt that's interesting i never thought of that one i don't think i have that one but and of course the charge attack aoe and then the speed burst with the same rune as mine and that is the way he cheese. Interesting, what do you say? Anyway, so that's enough for this video. Hope this helps you out and let me know how well you guys did. Later day.